Hello guys, in this video I'm going to upgrade this uh, HP ProBook 4540S to Windows 10. This is a brand new uh, Windows 8 install, about 15 minutes old. And uh, I'm not going to wait for Windows 8 to do all of its updates and prompt me to go to Windows 10. I just saw another way, by accident. If you start Internet Explorer and let it uh, go to its uh, uh, standard uh, homepage, you can see here we have Windows 10 announcement. And let us see how that goes. I've never tried uh, like this, but yeah, it should work, shouldn't it? Of course, this website uh, is in Romanian because uh, why not? <laughs> it's uh, probably it sees my IP. I'm going to save this on the desktop. Uh, download now. Save is the same. Okay, it saved on the desktop. Click run. Yes. And let's see what we get. I'm going to close this, close all tabs, doesn't really matter. By the way, uh, this is the first time I'm playing around with this laptop and it's really well built and uh, really nice, really, really nice laptop, I must say. Of course, uh, this will take most likely a ton of time being on Wi-Fi. Uh, so I'm going to stop the video for a moment and continue when it's downloaded. Because it seems it is downloading already. Downloading completed. Most likely did uh, some other things while I was away. So I'm going to accept the license. It seems it's uh, searching for updates. Mm, this probably will take some time also. So we'll be back. Next step, install. And from now on, like it says, it will restart uh, several times. And at the end of this process, we should have a working Windows 10. Hopefully, of course. But I think this is a pretty new uh, laptop, so yeah. I don't think there will be any issues installing Windows 10 on it. As you can see, it's doing its thing. And hopefully it will finish soon because it's late and I'm sleepy. But I want to get this done today, so yeah, I am going to wait for it. And weirdly enough, we are done, quite fast actually, unexpected. Customize settings, of course. I will do my thing with uh, this and uh, come back to you. And it's finished. As you can see, Windows is activated, so it uh, accepted the upgrade. All drivers uh, seem to be working uh, perfectly from Windows 8. I didn't need to reinstall anything, so that is very good. Uh, the only thing at the moment is that uh, it's still doing stuff on uh, C drive. But uh, yeah, that is to be expect expected, it probably didn't finish everything already. I will leave it uh, until it finishes uh, what it has to do and then I will start uh, using it. Because uh, yeah, that's about it. This is the upgrade process to Windows 10 on this laptop. Pretty uneventful, mostly because this is a pretty pretty new laptop and it has good support for Windows 10. 
So if you haven't switched to Windows 10, I encourage you to do so because as I've said before, Microsoft is starting to cripple older Windows versions, so in the end you will be forced to go to Windows 10 and why not make the the jump uh, sooner than, than later. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, give this video a like if it helped you in any way, check out my other videos, uh, subscribe, comment and see you again next time. Bye!